Light fades on the 2020 Euro Formula Open Championship and we're going to end the season here at Barcelona. Four races coming up for you this weekend. Yefeye with a significant lead in the championship. All he needs to do is finish and he should become champion. Likewise, Lucas Dunner, who should become vice champion this weekend. However, four races, who knows, we may even get four different winners. It's going to be a great end to the season here in Barcelona. Let's take a look back at the highlights then from the race as we got underway and Luke, Lucas Dunner got a brilliant start to the race. Yeah, he was just about able to get his elbows out and hold on to the race. Sadly, Andreas and Sebastian Esther would make contact coming into pause for turn number one. Here we can see Sebastian Esther on the outside trying to turn into the corner. Andreas having been run wide there, had nowhere to go but in towards his brother and sadly that would effectively be the race over for the two who would finish 14th and 15th at the end. There would be some great moves from Louis Foster. That was the first of them on the very first lap on Alexandra Bardignon. This perhaps the best one though, diving down the inside of Cameron Daz, just about getting the car stopped in time. Uh, and Louis Foster, don't know what happened to him on the last lap though, he would drop back to eighth place after attacking Van Berlo for sixth. Lucas Dunner just couldn't keep up with his teammate no matter what he tried. And as we mentioned there, he was, uh, this might be where Louis Foster, that was him trying to dive down the inside of Van Berlo, wouldn't be able to get through. But he got his foot down out front, did Yefeye, and in the end, he would lead his teammate to the line by 4.8 seconds to get himself within just one race here now of winning the 2020 Euro Formula Open title. A 1 2 for the Crypto Tower Racing Team. Great result once again, and they would be joined on the podium by Nicholas Cruton. Very happy with the outcome of the race. Um, yeah, the start was really close between me and Lucas, but yeah, I managed to hold on to the lead in, in turn one, and from there onwards, I was beating up my rhythm. I was saving the tires somehow in the first half of the race, and when I see that he cannot keep up with me anymore, then I just yeah push a bit, and then I pull up a very good gap at the end. So very happy about the result. We have just a, a job to finish. Yeah, there's still one race is one race this afternoon and one qualifying two more races tomorrow. So my goal is to yeah for sure get uh, P1 in all of those sessions if possible. Let's look back at the highlights and how our champion was crowned. A brilliant initial launch from Cameron Daz there. Look, appeared to get him alongside with Yefe Ye, but eventually Ye would get back into the race lead before we even reached turn number one as we charged down towards the first corner. In the background, Andreas Esner would go into third place. Dunner dropped back behind him and Manuel Maldonado as well as the cars powered their way through at turn number three on the opening lap. There were some moves on the first lap. No surprise that one of them was from Louis Foster. He going down the inside of Zane Maloney there to head up into towards eighth place. Maldonado would come under pressure throughout the duration of the race from multiple race winner Lucas Dunner, but was able to hold on throughout the race. Nicholas Cruton tried to do the same. Uncle Van Berlo couldn't quite get through either though. As Andreas Esner, who has had difficulties in the middle part of the season, but he looks to be ending on a high as he was in third place and extending his gap over Manuel Maldonado. There's Glenn Van Berlo. He had to put up with a lot of pressure in this race. But out front, no one could keep up with Yefeye. 5.6 seconds clear from the rest of the field. He would round the final corner and he would crown himself the seventh champion of Euro Formula Open. Crypto Tower Racing in their first year on the top step. It's been a, a tough race. Uh, I, I won't say a tough race, but in the beginning, it was cl quite close between uh, me and my teammates. But I managed to hold on to the lead on lap one. And on the first half of the race, I was just trying to manage the tires. And uh, yeah, on the second half, I pushed and I really made a big gap to the end. So I'm very happy about that and got the title as well in this race. So very happy about this. It's, it has, has been a very uh, uh, yeah, fascinating and challenging season this year and yeah, very happy we have achieved this. And how do you feel? Do you feel something special? Yeah, I mean, I have to thank to the team as well. They did a good job. We have been working hard from the pre-season testing and throughout the every race weekend. So we are always trying to improve and that's how we managed to always be in the front. Yeah. So here's a look back 
at the highlights from race three here in Barcelona. Sebastian Esta to the left of screen, the rookie getting a fantastic start from the front row. And he would lead us going down towards turn number one with the champion Yiffy Ye to the right of picture. In the background, Foster and Dunner were going side by side, but the drama would be at the head of the field. Ye trying to go around the outside, would have to take a little bit of curve. Sadly, that was him into Sebastian Esta go off into the gravel and have to take a trip to the pit lane. Ye would receive a five second penalty for that. Cruton and Van Berlo came to blows as well. Van Berlo coming off the worst there in the number 12. Ye now with a five second penalty, had to gain a five second gap over that man, Louis Foster. Lucas Dunner would be in third place trying to keep up, but he would make a small mistake the next lap and that would see Cameron Daz have an opportunity to take third and he would grab it with both hands as he pulled along side by side down the straight and the American would get himself into a podium spot. Dunner would do his best to fight back, but Daz did everything he had to and would quickly build a gap and hold on to it. And out front with now 6.2 seconds over Louis Foster, Ye could come round the final corner and win the race by 1.2 seconds to go unbeaten so far at Barcelona this weekend. I wouldn't call this one a easy Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning drive. Yeah, the start was not so good. I had a lot of wheel spin, so I was coming uh, side by side with um, Sebastian to turn one. I was yeah, fighting hard against him into turn two and we had some slight contact. And uh, unfortunately I got a five second penalty because of that. So I had to really push hard from the beginning until the end. Um, but having in mind to save my tires for the end because if I over pushed the tires in the beginning I might fall out of pace completely at the end so it was really hard to manage the tires and also to push uh, every lap and my engineer was keep uh, updating me on the gap to Louis the whole race which is also intense and yeah I cannot afford to do any kind of mistake so yeah it was a tough, tough race but at the end we came up on top and very happy about that what will you do uh, as from tomorrow when the season is finished you go back to China you relax a bit um, I think given the, given the current global COVID situation, I will stay in Europe because I think I will still try to yeah, race or test in Europe uh, anytime soon. So yeah, for sure have some good sleep and then watch a couple of my races this weekend and yeah, that will be a good pleasure. But first we have one more race to finish this afternoon before we can celebrate. Let's look back at the final race of the season. Manuel Maldonado to the left of screen did everything he could to try and challenge Ye down towards the first corner. But Ye would hold on to the race lead. We would have drama behind, sadly. If you look to the left of your screen when they turn through turn number one, we were almost three wide behind. That would cause Lucas Dunner to run over the chicane. But to the left of our screen, we're sadly going to see an incident. And there it is as Glenn Van Berlo and Alexandre Bardignon collided with each other, bringing out the safety car. Lucas Dunner having to run straight straight over Ido Cummins. Likewise, they would lose places when we got going. Sebastian Esno and Cameron Daz would lock horns as they came in towards turn number one. Cameron Daz running wide. Sebastian Esno would later be given a two-second penalty for that incident. A further incident would take place just a few corners later. Louis Foster and Rafael Villa Gomez colliding wheels. The stewards handed five-second penalty to Louis Foster for that incident. Lucas Dunner would put the pressure on Nicholas Cruton and eventually would force him into a mistake and that mistake would see Nicholas Cruton lose fourth in the championship to Manuel Maldonado. But Maldonado could get nowhere near this man as he finished second. Ye would storm to a victory of 9.4 seconds to end with the perfect weekend here at Barcelona. Four wins, four pole positions and four fastest laps. 11 wins in 18 races for one of the most dominant champions we have have ever seen in the series. This race was probably the best race of the season actually. I had a very very good start and I just had easy way to turn one and then from there onwards. Yeah there was a safety car in the beginning but I know I can do a good safety car restart which I managed to do and then yeah from there onwards I was just using my tire saving strategy so I was yeah keeping it under control for, for first few laps and then at the end I just gave everything. Also I just wanted to enjoy myself so in the car and yeah managed to do the fastest lap at the end so yeah that was a mega race very happy about that the year has been amazing and to wrap up the year with four pole position out of four qualifying and four 
race wins out of four races and fastest lap in each of them is, is like a dream. I, at the last few laps I was feeling like I was dreaming literally because yeah, it's just amazing. Very happy about that and thanks to Tim to without them wouldn't have been possible. So yeah, very happy about that. It's time to celebrate.